one, one hundred monsters. Ah, ah, ah. Two, two hundred monsters. Ah, ah, ah. Three, three hundred monsters. What the? F Well, hello there, real gamers, and all you gatekeepers out there. Retro Rob here. Welcome to Retro Rob Plays Everything. Today, we're going to be playing something on the Steam Deck, which I've been really pretty happy with since I got it about a month ago. And uh, today's game is something I just basically, I don't know, I just got it on a whim. And uh, it's great, by the way. And it's super cheap. Anyway, today's game is. Vampire Survivors by a company called Ponkel, and I've never heard of them. Anyway, reviews are overwhelmingly positive, and we're going to take a great look at the gameplay. I'm being positive. <laughs> anyway, mow down thousands of night creatures and survive until dawn. Vampire Survivors is a gothic horror casual game with roguelite elements where your choices can allow you to quickly snowball against the hundreds of monsters that get thrown at you. There's going to be a lot of monsters in this one. Um, basically, it's not, it is not a dual stick shooter, which uh, you would expect from this one. And I, I kind of like these ones that I think it's going to be a dual stick shooter, but it's not. But uh, it would be better just to show you. So let's do that. Thumbs up. Comment and subscribe or I will go Skynet on your butt. Alright, let's get playing some Vampire Survivors. I suppose the first thing I'll show you is the bestiary. Here's the creatures that I've found. By the way, this is probably a little bit further along than I generally like to do a first impressions video. I've been playing this for hours. Uh, but it was so much fun, I just kept playing. Anyway... Unlocks. There we go. Let's uh, take a look at power-ups because this is the interesting section. Uh, these carry with you from round to round. And what I want you to note here is that when you do these upgrades, they cost a lot. And I know I've got a lot of money, but I've been saving up. So it might take you a few rounds before you're able to get your first unlocks. Just so you know. And I'm going to do a little bit more here. And I always like, ah, oh, I don't have enough for speed. See, it's going to be another round. All right. Well, we'll do that. Anyway, you start out with only a couple characters. I think three. And then you can unlock more. So I can unlock Croshi here. Oh, I cannot. I don't have 650. <sighs> well, I guess I won't be unlocking him. Anyway, I've got Gennaro. Uh, who's an unlocked character and I like him quite a bit. He's pretty decent and there's his specs And you only start out with access to a couple stages. I've unlocked a number of them also uh, Note on the right you can change your music selection and change the difficulty level and I think what we'll do we'll do I don't do as well in the library in general so um, I'm gonna do that one also, notice uh, you've got the Hyper, Hurry, and Arcanus, which is a new feature I just unlocked. But you unlock these features, and uh, they can make the game more easy or difficult or, um, or add features to the game, which is pretty cool. And I've only, got, <laughs> yeah, I've only got one card, so here we go. Look at these state-of-the-art graphics. So here's the thing, not a dual stick shooter. Another thing is that my, uh, my character has an ability that gives him more, um, more of each weapon, more projectiles for each weapon. That's the way to put it. And, uh, that is something I didn't get on the first couple characters. Uh, you can also get the same feature by doing some of those upgrades that I showed you earlier. A little bit of everything. All right, so what are my choices here? Ah, oh, man. Yeah, none of these I'm really that thrilled with, but we'll do the ebony wings, I guess. All 
Come on. Garlic. Get it if you can. It's very useful. Enemies that come close to you get poisoned. And you'll find that as you power it up, it becomes nearly, nearly impossible for them to get close to you. Uh, eventually it does, but especially early on if you have this garlic, it is uh, pretty useful. Uh, this will recover hit points a little bit faster. I've already got some upgrades to mine. So I'm not too worried about that yet, but I am going to upgrade that garlic and start killing people. See, right now they can't even touch me. Eventually, that's going to change, but for right now, look at that. The trick to using the garlic is move slowly. Don't move fast. Don't make sudden movements unless you're trying to get away. Augments max health. That's okay. I... I really want the whip. I'm not getting the whip. And that can severely hurt my progress. Which I guess is fine. There we go. King Bible's kind of interesting. It'll show up in a minute. There we go. And again, with a different character and no upgrades, I would just have the one Bible swinging around. But one of my character's abilities is more projectiles. So oh, this is killing me, man. It's kind of good, though, because I can show you another level. If I do end up dying here a little bit early. I don't like broccoli. Get away, Broccoli. Ah, goodness, man. That is frustrating. I would say that probably 9 out of 10 gameplays, I get that whip, like, right away. And I did have a chance to get it, and I passed it up. So I suppose maybe I shouldn't have, but... No whip. Eh, we'll do this. And in case you're interested, hold on a second. Let's uh, walk around a little bit more. I don't want that. Work on the knife. The knife actually can be pretty useful over time. Very often, larger and more powerful enemies will drop way better stuff. So, uh, we're going to go after this guy. But we don't want to get whooped by him. Uh, would he just die? My goodness. There we go. Nope, he didn't die. Nope. There we go. Okay, see that? Got some treasure. And that's good. Love this. Best way to get gold in the game. And it gives you a free unlock. Sometimes you get lucky, and it gives you three of them. Which is awesome. And yes, there is a, uh, a luck that you can upgrade in this game as well. Jeez. Um. Mm. Okay, reducing weapons cooldown is actually pretty useful. Uh, that means it fires faster. Your weapons all fire faster. So, so you'll notice that the Bible C just went away. Reducing that cooldown time means they come back faster. 
Alright, this is pretty good. The garlic strengthening bodes well. The lack of a whip, however, that's trouble. Uh, try not to get overpowered, which I shouldn't. This should be pretty easy. Yep, that. And I'm annoyed. So I'm going to close that window. Because I am hearing little beeps going on. And that annoys the heck out of me. There we go. And there's the, uh, there's a Steam Deck, by the way, in case you didn't see it earlier. So I am indeed playing it on the Steam Deck. Look at all these monsters, man. It's ridiculous. Hmm. All right, it's starting to get a little ridiculous now. And again, this is kind of where I wish I had the whip. Believe it or not, I don't upgrade the speed very often uh, within game. And what do I want to do? I'll do more, more crosses. They're a little more powerful, so... And I gotta get this guy. Well, I took a little damage there. Love this part. And I got more garlic. Whip. Thank goodness. All right. Again, I'm going to repeat myself a little bit on this, but usually you start with the whip only whipping in one direction. It's one of this character's bonuses that I get it going both ways, which I think is awesome. All right, this is another thing uh, you'll probably want to keep an eye on. You do want your character to gain more experience over time because it becomes harder and harder as you get further along to upgrade them. So you want to uh, upgrade with less and less experience so that it will help you out with that. I probably should have taken that cooldown. Oh, I hate those. Broccoli. And just so you know, when you first start, you don't make it that far, generally speaking. But over time, you get better and better. Um, I think I might use that. A little faster projectile never hurts. Oh, this is a cool pickup right here. Heck yeah. And there we go. Got a clover for some more luck. A lot of broccoli here. I think what I'll do here is I'm going to play till my level is up to 40. Uh, my character level is up to 40. That's on the top right hand side of the screen. Uh, by the way, at the top middle is of course your experience bar. Nice pickup. 
Armor, very useful. Means they do less damage, and when you're getting crowded in by them, that's really useful. Of course, your uh, hit points are represented by the red bar beneath you. And all those icons on the top left, those are your upgrades. Hold on just a second. Sorry about that, I had to abuse the dog. I didn't really. All right, we're gonna go for experience gain, I believe. These ghosts are super nasty if you're not prepared for them. They used to wipe me out a lot. Oop, see that? A big monster right next to me to the left. And what did he give me? He gave me a few more experience, so. And now I am just trotting through it. Oh, uh, let's do this. And it's my firm belief that I should be able to make it to level 40 at this point. That said, at any point in this game, something can go dramatically wrong. Even though I'm whooping them right now, the next round might bring by a baddie that I cannot deal with my character. Oh, we're going to reduce cooldown, although I should get that cross. You don't want that guy exploding on you. As you can see, I'm just slowly moving. And they're doing no damage to me right now. Oh man, I gotta do this. Would be nice uh, if when they list that, um, when they list the upgrade to your experience, uh, if they would tell you the total of how much bonus experience you're getting now. Because I'm pretty sure it's just saying you're getting another like 0.02% or whatever. We get that red one. Look at that. Getting rid of cooldown is really good. We are now whooping. All speed up by time. I love it when it's all. Okay, here we go. Suck up some more experience. And improve the armor. Yeah, nasty little sun thing. Alright, I'm now about a quarter of the way from getting to level 40, so I'm going to be a little bit more reckless at this point. That said, I'm so powerful right now. I'm totally bragging. I'm so powerful I can just walk through them at this point. Oh. 
Come on, I want this bat out of here. What the heck? Oh. Got a prize over there. I love the tune for this. A whip. And here we go again. No triples yet. It's unfortunate. Got more garlic though, which look like... Forget it. <laughs> I won't say it. You can judge for yourself. Alright, let's upgrade the cross now. No, I'm just whooping butt. And I'm going to try and upgrade as fast as possible. Get myself over to that level 40. At which what we'll do is uh, take a break and then try a different character on a different map. Make our lives a little harder. Well, I'm just standing still. Woo! Five more levels to until 40. Oh, sorry. Four, six more levels. Oh, let's go with base speed. And these little knights, they're not easy. Uh, right there I picked up a turkey. Which, or a chicken. Which is health. Look at this guy. You ain't living. <laughs> well, this is going really well. Very often, my playthroughs... When I'm, uh... Recording videos don't go that hot, but... Thirty-seven. At level thirty-seven. And in case you didn't notice, these gems do not disappear. It's just getting ridiculous. Goodness. Hmm. What's my level? 39. So I am almost at level 40. There we go. Use the clock to freeze them. There we go. Level 40. And now I think what I'm going to do is uh, choose a harder run, and we'll see how it goes, all right? 
And I'm back for some more Vampire Survivors. We're going to do one last run. And I think what I'm going to do in the options is... I'm going to flip the music off for now. There we go. And as you can see, I got some more money for power-ups. I'm going to up my speed a little. And I've got enough to unlock a new character. Holy crap, Poe has a... Wow. <laughs> Look at that. He's got the garlic. But I'm going to go... Well, yeah, no, I'm going to go with Antonio. And we'll see... How long I can last. Let's, uh, should I do this? Or should I do the Gallo Tower? Let's do the tower because it looks, it looks significantly different from the library. We'll do that one. And I will have a much harder time. Yeah. Last time I did the King Bible. Let's do the Rune Tracer. Again, I'm going to pick stuff that's a little bit harder to win with now. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Uh, the Pentagram, I, I don't really recommend using it. It just wipes out everybody on the screen at that time. So... It's basically a one-use weapon. Come on. And you can see I'm getting hit a lot more. But I am choosing a little bit rougher. Road. I'm not going to upgrade my healing or my hearts at all this round. Hmm. That's fair enough, Whip. And let's keep going down. Should we get lucky? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we get luckier. What that does for us. There's so much going on on the screen at one time. And you can see they're barely hurting me. Come on. Do knife. These get pretty nasty. They start coming out in bunches eventually. And then you have a real stinking problem. Now, I'll just keep going here. Try to be mostly offensive on this run.
Get out. Now notice I haven't had any big enemies yet. Oh, there's one. Just as I say that. Let's see if we can just keep knocking them back and do enough damage. Okay. I swear he's getting tougher. <laughs> Here we go. And what do we got? We got recovering hearts and then we got a whip. And then we got a treasure. <laughs> Too funny. And that's a whip upgrade as well. Come on, fools. Oh yeah, this is another thing that happens every once in a while. You get surrounded. I'm surprised that didn't happen on the last one. I'm pretty sure it happens on every level. Don't get near them while they're exploding. I think that comes without saying generally, but I'm saying it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, see, so at this time, because I have no significantly strong weapons here, I'm getting tore up. Jeez, need more coffee. Magic wand fires at the nearest enemy. I'm going to take that because it is going to help me survive a little longer. But my early choices have had consequences. Upgrade that. Eventually get so... Eventually it gets so ridiculous that you can barely see the steps and it's hard to tell where on the I'm pointing at the screen like you can see it but it's hard to tell where things are and as you can see these guys are becoming more and more numerous I ain't afraid of you guys. Oh, I should be. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be. There we go. There's some food. I'm starting to get tore up. Oh. Lost myself for a minute. One thirty nine and a knife. That's actually a pretty good haul for uh for that. Uh let's get luckier. Dang. It's just so many of them. And this is just the beginning. Of the amounts of enemies. Eventually they just get bigger and nastier. Darn. Now it's kind of getting real. Oh, jeez. Yeah, 
Just going and going. And we're going to keep going down. Oop. Oh, jeez. And now I'm in trouble. But I made it through it. Whew. Man. And this is where the healing ability would have really come in useful, but I didn't opt for that in a bout of suicidal behavior. So I'd say the big hint here is if you got the garlic, if you got a chance to get the garlic, you should definitely get it. Uh, the whip would be my second favorite. Everything else is actually good. It's just that uh, those two weapons seem to wipe out the most people. Well, monsters. Vampire monsters. Jeez. Ooh, I want that. I want that head. Come here, skull head. What'd I get? No triples yet. And I am dialing up the luck on this one. Odd. Come on, Mike. There we go. Not scared of any of these. Yeah, that's getting a little bit worrisome. <laughs> I gotta tell you that uh, not getting garlic really hurts. Really? Yeah, we're gonna do this. Oh, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not walk into those. Jeez, man. There's a lot of them. Get the tome. Weapon found. Spellbinder. Okay, we'll do that. Up. Oh. That guy was really tearing me up. I didn't even realize how badly I was hurt. That can happen where you're uh, just kind of paint. Up oh, there we go. I died. Where you're just paying attention to what's going on and you're not keeping an eye on how much life you have left. That's what happened to me. But anyway, that wraps it up because that was insane. And that wraps it up for Vampire Survivors on the Steam Deck. It has absolutely no problems running, which it shouldn't because it's a pixel art 16-bit type of game. Uh, but moreover, the game itself is great. It'll set you back $3 on Steam. I have unlocked, I don't know, maybe half of it, maybe about a half of what's in the game. And uh, so far, it's been really great. And at three bucks, I mean, at this point, I've already got my three bucks 
uh, worth. So it's easy to recommend this game. Uh, really fun. I will uh, put a link to it down below. I want to thank you. What was that? Down below. Anyway, I want to thank you very much for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.